Hello, this is Tol from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show how you can enable and disable models in your user interface for the viewport and for rendering in Blender. And it's pretty straightforward. And I've got this scene set up where I have a sphere, a cube, and also uh, Suzanne the monkey. And if I render this out now, I can just press F12. Just click on that, F12. Sometimes Blender just stalls, but you have the sphere, the cube, and Suzanne rendered out. And let's say we want to just render out the cube or just see, let's say we want to render out the sphere and Suzanne and leave out the cube, or just we want to just see Suzanne and the sphere without the cube in our user interface. Uh, the option is right here. Now, sometimes in Blender, if you have a small window or a small laptop, it kind of cuts off what's off to the uh, right. Uh, when it comes to the options, but in order to get the options off to the right, just hover your mouse over this section and scroll down with your mouse wheel and it reveals this icon. Left click on that and activate the viewport and also the render options there. And you have all these options that are available for every object in your scene. Now let's click on the cube and we can click on this icon to disable the viewing of the cube in the user interface and also in the render and now if we press F12 it'll still render out watch this it'll still come out but in order for us not to have it rendered out at all as a final render left click on this camera icon and when it turns to a like outline of a camera with an X in the middle press F12 again and now the cube is gone we want the cube to come back just click on uh, this icon here and that brings the cube back, but it won't be visible in the final ren render until we activate the uh, Option here, which is uh, the camera again left click on that and then we have the cube back in the scene and Also as a final render by pressing F12. We'll see the cube is back again and That's how you can enable and disable objects or images in blender. Sorry about that objects only in blender by left clicking on it and uh, clicking on these parameters. Now something that's kind of strange to me in Blender is the fact that these two icons, this eye icon and this monitor icon, they do the same thing. So I don't know why they have both of those there. You left click on that, disables uh, that object. Click on it again, it brings it back. Left click on the uh, monitor, ob uh, monitor icon that makes the sphere disappear. Left click on it to activate it, it brings it back. So I don't know why they have two uh, uh, objects have to do the same thing. That's kind of strange, but I guess that's just Blender for you. But that's today's Blender quick tip. And I hope this was helpful for those of you who have been watching. Once again, thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel in the past because it's really helped the channel to grow quite a bit. Uh, thank you guys who are subscribing now because it's still going to help the channel to grow. And thank you guys who will subscribe in the future because it will still help the channel to grow even more. And I really appreciate you guys, and I will see all of you on the next one. All right, adios. Hello, this is Tol from Trifold Productive with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you can, how you can enable Hoka Pata Hita Hata 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 Hata.